For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says if the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the bracket is to be 415 newtons directed along this axis, determine the magnitude of F1 and its direction on phi. So the resultant force is around 450 newtons, so that's there more or less. So let's break it down. F1 uh, is equal to x in the i because we don't know it plus y in the j. F2 is equal to 200 in the positive y direction and nothing in the j direction. F3 is 260 times 5 over 13 in the i direction minus 260 times 12 over 13 in the negative j direction. So when you add them all up, you're gonna get f of r, which is equal 450 cosine of 30 in the i direction plus 450 sine of 30 in the j direction. Now, this is equal to 389.7 in the i direction plus 225 in the j direction. This is the resultant force. So adding these three together and adding these three together should equal this two. So let's do the x. In the x plus 200 plus 100 because yeah this is 100 this is equal to 389.7 which means that x is equal to 89.7 and the y plus 0 minus 240 because 260 times 12 or 13 means 240 uh, some minus over here is equal to 225 which means that y is equal to 465. Now that you got the x and y components of f of 1, all you got to do is find the magnitude. And remember, the magnitude is the uh, x squared plus y squared square rooted. And this is equal to 473.6. That's the magnitude of f. The angle theta, which would be this angle, is the tangent inverse of the y over the x, which is equal to 79.1 degrees. But we're looking for phi, and phi is equal to 90 minus beta, which is equal to 10.9 degrees. Final answer.